I'll be taking you through a split squat, which is an excellent single leg exercise to work on single leg strength and core stability. This progresses to a loaded split squat, to walking lunges, to reverse lunges and jump lunges. So I want you to come down to a half kneeling position and your legs are in a series of two 90 degree angles. Now, if you hold, need to hold on to something, you absolutely can. Now start to find that neutral position by sticking your butt out and then tucking your hip up and under. We really wanna hold on to that tucked position so that our hip flexor is long and our glute is squeezed. Make sure your abs are engaged as well by taking an exhale out through your mouth and feeling that rib cage gather and your abs tighten. This will ensure a neutral spine as well. So come on up to the top of that split squat and adjust the distance between your feet to make sure it's comfortable. That front knee, you'll note, never comes past my front toe, right? So you want your shin to be relatively uh, vertical um, in this position to protect your knee and your knee joint. And again, you can always hold on to something if this is feeling a little bit unstable, you're new to this. And we don't wanna arch our back or stick our butt out. We wanna tuck our hip up and under. So if you ever need to reset, you can absolutely do so. Keep dipping that knee down toward the floor, just leaving a bit of a uh, bit of space between the knee and the ground. And you really feel that front leg. Now, if you wanna load it, you can hold one bell goblet style at your chest when you're ready and feeling strong, or you can hold two bells down by your side farmer style to up the ante when you feel ready. And I'm going to show you what this looks like from the front as well. So again, coming down to that half kneeling position, making sure you tuck your hip up and under so that glute is squeezed. Then you wanna make sure your legs are within the hallway of the hips, right? Go ahead and reach forward, tuck that back toe up and under, and then scoot that foot, uh, foot forward if you need to dipping that knee down toward the floor. Now, one thing you'll wanna notice from this angle is that we want our front knee to be tracking over our second or third toe. So we don't want it to be caving in, wah, wah. We wanna be pushing it out toward the wall to the um, side of that leg, right? So that we can, again, ensure safe knees um, in any squatting pattern. It's great feedback to kind of hold on to your rib cage to make sure it's not sticking out to make sure that the abs are tight. And again, you can do two different holds when you are ready to progress this, uh, a weight at your chest or two down by your side. Good luck guys.